Well, it's a nice rainy day. <laughs> I'm feeling better today, and I thought I better take advantage of it and get out. I wanted to get. and visit with uh, my sister and Omi and I'm gonna do that maybe tomorrow I hope I don't really want to go that far in the rain but this morning I got a hold of Tammy and we're gonna go to lunch <laughs> I've not been to lunch with her in a while she she's afraid she's gonna wear me out or something she said only if you feel up to it and I said I think I'll feel up to it so I thought I'd just take you along. Sometimes we just gotta do what we gotta do when we can. I don't like getting out in the rain, but I'm not really going that far. And I need to go to Yugo for Eli. <laughs> I do. Uh, you'll see a Yugo haul at some point. Yeah, I got it recorded. But you'll probably see this first because I'm trying to give people encouragement. Uh, ever since the 1st of January, I've not done much of anything. I really haven't. Uh, Omi and I, we do a lot of chit-chatting. Tammy, Michelle. I got cut off because there's a uh, Amber Alert in Murfreesboro. I think Murfreesboro, Kentucky. I'll have to look. Yeah, I follow true crime and I follow these alerts. Uh, Omi and I actually went to a couple of places back at one in June for a little girl in uh, Kingsport, Summer Wells. Y'all may have heard about her. She's been missing for three years. And I have followed true crime. Well, started out with the Nancy Drew books. Uh, got into court TV back during the O.J. Simpson days. Do y'all remember the O.J. Simpson days? But it struck a chord with me with Summer Wells, little blonde-headed, blue-eyed girl. Yeah. And uh, we went to a vigil or a, I don't know if you call it a vigil. I think I shared part of it with you. I'm not sure how much. But uh, we didn't know anybody that was going Omi and I decided it's something I wanted to do and she wanted to do it with me and uh, it marked two years I believe two years her two year anniversary of being gone and a memorial memorializing her uh, it'd be good if we could still hear that she's alive and well and happy. We don't know. My road's kind of bumpy, so I'll come back. <laughs> yeah, uh, our county big time let us down on our roads, and a lot of the neighbors got together, and they worked on part of the roads and took money out of their own bank accounts to try to straighten up a lot of it. Uh, still got a long ways to go and if the county ever gets their act together I need to go back and talk to the road superintendent yeah remind him of what he told me that's what I need to do I need to remind him of what he told me he would do but this part's not been worked on right here it's a little on the rough side but I'll be back when I get to the top. Uh-oh. You can see the dark sky. But it feels good to get out for a minute. It does. But, yeah, Summer Wells, she would be eight years old, seven years old. I forget details. She's been gone for a long, long time. Beautiful little girl. Still no answers. And we went to Kingsport again in September, Omi and I did, for a, a young lady named Layla Santanello. She's been missing for months and months and months, and she 
she has a child that her mom is raising. I can't even imagine what that mom's going through right now. They still haven't found her. They still don't have any good leads. Uh, if I can remember at the end of this video, I'll share, uh, or I might insert it now. Yeah, if you see a couple of uh, little card type things, you'll know that I found the one for Layla Santanello, a picture of her, uh, one of Summer Wells. Of course, she has probably grown so much. She was only five when she went missing. But I follow a lot of true crime. And uh, those aren't the only ones that I follow, but those are the only two because they were both fairly close to home. They were actually both in Kingsport when we went that uh, Omi and I got involved in. But today, on a happier note, I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> Gotta take advantage of it. So many out there are sick. They can't get out. Many of y'all let me know can't get out. Uh, I tried to do my best not to bring anybody down. I want to uplift. Doesn't mean I don't get down at times, trust me. The past two and a half months, almost two and a half months have been rough. But there's always light at the end of the tunnel. That's what I say. Uh, but anyway, I'll show you a little bit more of what I'm doing. Oh, uh, did I tell you? We're going to go eat Chinese. I've been craving Chinese. Um, what kind of foods do you crave when you've not felt well? I craved uh, not a whole lot when I was sick, but that tri-color coleslaw from Walmart with the yum yum sauce. Um, liver cheese sandwiches with the coleslaw with the yum yum sauce uh, cream of wheat what else did I eat I didn't have a lot of appetite but that liver cheese for some reason and I figured after once or twice I'd be done with it but you'll see I'm still not done with it I thought it was because I needed iron, but my doctor says my iron level's good. My salt level's low. You'd think my salt level would be high because of the salt content in liver cheese. She said, right now, Angie, you don't need to worry about it. You're low on salt. Of course, my electrolytes are off. So, therefore, when I found out about the body armor drink, uh, I started drinking on those because, and then I switched over to the lot because of the sugar content, because my sugar level was just a tad, just a tad, uh, and I'm trying to make sure that I keep it on the low side. But enough about me. I'll take you a little bit on my rainy journey. Yeah. I decided today was the day I needed to get out for a while. Kenny was good with it. He said as long as I was fine going on my own, he would would have took me to get out. But he figured Tammy and I needed some time on our own. So Tammy's been a busy, I call her a busy bee. But as you can see, it's 58 degrees, but very rainy. I'll bring you back when I get to the Chinese restaurant. I don't know if you can see them, but the Bradford pears are really blooming out. No, I'm not at the Chinese restaurant yet, but I thought I'd show you Bradford pears. Springtime is around the corner. It is, it is, and I've been seeing a lot of daffodils and those yellow bushes right there, and I can, I know the name of them, but I always forget the name. Wisteria, no, that's a tree. I forget what those are called. I have to find out again. And 
and there's some daffodils. That's about the only colors I've been seeing right now here. I'm coming up on another Bradford pear. I told Naomi we're going to have to go around the Dogwood Trail this year. I've not been around the Dogwood Trail uh, anywhere in a long, long time. When I worked, I got to be around them every, every year. So we're going to try to do that this year and take y'all along with us. I'm going to catch you off again. Oh, I see cattle. Y'all see the cattle? Yeah. Enjoying, even with it raining, enjoying the view. Passing where you turn in to go to Cove Lake State Park. A nice park. And somewhere where we also uh, camp at time. But we're heading into Jacksboro. There's just three miles difference between Jacksboro and La Follette. And I believe the Mexican restaurant, I mean Mexican, Chinese restaurants consider La Follette. It's all camel camp. And as you can see, the rain is still hanging oh, on. Let's, let's Entering Jacksboro from Perryville. <laughs> yeah, Cove Lake State Park is in Perryville, Tennessee. I'm in Jacksboro now. Let's see if we can find the falling spot. Slowly spot. I'm just happy to be out. I can't wait to get out with my sister and my mom too. Heather wants to get out. She was on vacation this weekend. There were days when I did pretty good, days I didn't do so well. So uh, hopefully pretty soon I'll have a day with her too. Eli was going to come today and he decided no, he'd stay home with Papa. I would have took him. He said, if I don't have to go to you go to get what I want, I am not going. I said, that's fine. He didn't have to. But I'm still driving. I was going to show you, but I, I missed it. I see a, I think it's considered a wild cherry tree. It's in bloom too. And I think i seen somewhere where red buds were starting to bloom out, but I'm not sure. I didn't forget. I'm amazed. I'm now entering La Follette. Yeah, if I took a different, uh, instead of turning right on 25, if I turned left, I'd been right there in Rocky Top. So you can see how close all our towns are together. Very small town. I keep forgetting we finally got a five and below here in town. I don't know if I've been into it or not. This little shopping area with it's called Bills, Five Below, Big City. Got Little Caesars. It had a thrift store in here, but it moved on down in LaFalle. But right past Big City is where the Chinese buffet is. Oh yeah, and the quilt store. I forgot about it. I gotta find a parking place. I tried to park as close as I could so I wouldn't have to walk in the rain as far. So I better message Tammy and see if she's here. Maybe she'll talk to you. I don't know. I don't pick up the camera all the time when I'm visiting with friends because that's not what the visits are about. But I'm actually sitting in front of Little Caesars. <laughs> That was the closest place I could get to getting in to the store, I believe. We'll see. You want to come in with me? Come on. Come on. I know it's not the gate I normally open. But come on. Come on. I'll hold it open for a minute. You better hurry. You better hurry. I know you can get in without me opening it, though. Oh, no. Here comes the kitty kitty. The wind's blowing me. Boy, what a difference a day makes. Yeah, I know. I done fed you. But I thought I'd better come out here and finish up this video. I did a car chat yesterday on the way to meet Tammy to go for Chinese. And I did take a couple of pictures. And after that, and I And this didn't is do what anything. I'm starting out with. Back and there's the buffet. Mm -hmm. 
even though it was a cold, well, not too cold, rainy, dreary day, it was a good day. Tammy and I had a lot of fun. We, uh, I pigged out. I think I ate more than I've ever ate in front of Tammy. Mainly the what you seen in the plate. I went back for more of that. I wasn't in so much for the meats, but the vegetables. I got a cat right here. Look. <laughs> well, anyway, she's left. And uh, we went from there. I said, Tammy, I need to go to Yugo for Eli. And uh, she said, well, she'll go with me. Yeah, it's all her fault. She went with me. We spent, I don't know how long in you go. We both bought items, and I've not done that haul yet. I've not even showed you my last you go haul yet, but you know what? Life is more than what we buy, isn't it? And who knows? She might do a haul. I said, if she does a haul, she better not blame me for it. But I kind of showed you how it was uh, yesterday, the dreariness. Oh. And after you go, we went to the Dollar Tree. <laughs> Got a Dollar Tree haul, too. She may blame me for all this, because she might have just went on home, but, yeah. And then we went to Goodwill. But we were good at Goodwill, and <laughs> neither one of us bought anything. And by the time I got home, I was wore out. But it was a good wore out. It wasn't the kind of wore out that I've been, where I've been sitting around trying to get better. It was a good wore out because I actually got out. Does that mean I'm totally where I need to be? No, but I am so much better, and that's what we have to do. Sometimes it takes stuff like that, doing something unexpected to uh, lift our spirits, and if we can't get out, I hope that somebody can help us lift our spirits, which they have. You've seen Tammy send me videos. Omi has sent me videos. And I've got critters close to the house, not just on the hill. And, yeah, they show me. They miss me, too. Uh, I know. Did you lay an egg yet? Let me go see if you laid an egg yet. Let me go see if she laid an egg yet. Hang on. Did you lay an egg yet? No, ma'am, you didn't. I don't see an egg yet. I don't. I don't. She's been laying them behind these straw bales. I cut one of them up the other day, but they were still too wet to really spread out. I need to get busy out here. I think I'll feel better. I thought, while I'm waiting on the boys, we're going to Michelle's today. Did I tell you that? We're going to Michelle's today. <laughs> so I doubt I'll do any video when I'm hauled. I, like I said, I've got a Yugo haul I still haven't showed you yet. I have another Yugo haul coming out. I know at least one Dollar Tree haul, and uh, this week, I think it's supposed to start warming up enough that maybe I can get my beds cleaned out. Eli asked me, said, Mama, are they still going to be good? And I said, well, yeah, I just got to, let me see if I can show you. Can you see them? They were playing right there. I said, I just got to clean them up. And, uh, Get that diatomaceous earth in them and, uh, what do you call it, fertilize them a little bit and don't know what exactly I'm going to plant yet. I know tomatoes and cucumbers for sure. I can see why Kenny named her Yaffy. <laughs> she is. She's Yaffy Yaffy. And... But I just thought I'd come on here and say I appreciate each and every one of you all uh, for being here. I hope that uh, your day brings you some kind of joy. And if you can't get out, maybe somebody will come or call and uh, lift your spirits like they've been lifting mine for the past two months or more. <laughs> it's going to be an adventure this year in the garden, I can tell. I don't know how I'm going to sneak by all these <laughs> critters. <laughs> I got to decide which is more important, the critters or the garden. Really, the critters are. They bring me joy, but my garden does too. <laughs>